Its impacts are a far cry from these other places, but there is some damage. Yeah, from tornado touchdowns, flying debris, and flooding, people have been cleaning up all day long. CBS 4's Joan Murray is in Cooper City with more on how Ian smacked us right here at home. 24 hours after ferocious winds from Ian's vans blew through Sunshine Village in Davie, several modular homes are empty. The damage clear even in the dark, siding missing, windows and walls gone. I was in the military for 13 years, so it kind of broke bad memories, but uh, we safe, that's all that matters. The family safe. We are alive. The damaged picture at North Perry Airport equally bad. Some aircraft grounded, maybe for good, as what's believed to be a tornado crushed and battered small planes. <laughs> Chainsaws were heard all over Broward Wednesday as homeowners and hired hands cleared tree limbs from roads and yards. It was a sleepless night for Babette Heron and her family. We took turns staying up because those alarms kept going off for the warnings. Robin Jensen lost her backyard fence and is forever changed, escaping a tornado. I feel very, very fortunate. Our house was okay. We didn't have any damage. Nobody was hurt. And everybody we know came out of it okay. While flood water has mostly receded on rain drenched streets, some county parks like Ryan Piccolo in Cooper City will take time to dry out. Of course, any damage here in no way compares to what's going on in southwest Florida. Emergency managers say everything worked as it should, and we are ready for the next big storm. In Davie, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News tonight.